welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. From the 40 yard line, it's second down. Gets it on the pitch. Runs outside for a nice game. Five yard gain on the toss play. That'll make it a good one. And they make the stop at the 27 yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. That's good to have a lot of yards. That brings him second in five. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike, four. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Just like they draw it up, Kurt. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 58-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. The Golden Eagles and their coaching staff, Kurt, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fakes to the back. Pocket holds. And he's tackled right away. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. 
from their own 47 yard line. It's second down. Caught out of the open. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. It's second and six. Ball on the 38. And off to the left. Good outside run there. He makes his way out to about the 25. And this play is number eight on the drive. From the 21 yard line. Second down. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That'll bring up 32. This is the 10th play of this drive. The 16-yard line. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And they get nice yardage on that run. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Panthers lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he hauls that one in. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. From their own 28-yard line, first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. scrimmage there on the option keeper a loss of one from their own 38 yard line second down Makes the grab and steps out right away. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. 
So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough After to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it after the review. No catch. It's third and 11. Ball on their own 38. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? It's a yard, maybe less. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Over the middle to his tailback. And down he goes at the 42. That's good for the game. Seven and That brings us four and three. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Here's the give. Brought down at about the 45. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 45. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. Strike to the receiver. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 for the 20. He's taken down at the 15. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Defense has had two stops already down here. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. Here's another third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught with room to work. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. that decision it was definitely a first down that they could have picked up you want to be aggressive early on even if it doesn't always work out 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes the grab past the marker. Him hard at the 20. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. At the 35-yard line, they got four yards on that one. Here the defense is sitting in man-to-man -man coverage. The quarterback saw the receiver get a small opening. He was able to deliver the ball for a nice game. Just throws this one away. Again, they try to test this defense through the air. In fact, not only did they test him through the air, they test him with the same play. Now it's third and six coming up. All on their own 35. Quick throw. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 38. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Slings it. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. to the receiver make the grab perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty that was a solid play it's the ninth play of the drive he's looking for six and he's got it touchdown White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. And he adds the extra point. A nice nine play, 92 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Eagles struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. as he threw and he completes it there's a very impressive open field tackle we're halfway through and it's been a good one the Panthers lead it by two touchdowns glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? 
I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught, open field, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. Some room. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Third down and they need to get it inside the 47. He's under some heat. Scrambling around. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. That's a deep they call it a catch but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this man as i see this play again it really looks like he made the correct call on the field after review of the play the ruling on the field well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He goes out of bounds at the 16. That makes it second and two. Are these guys going to finally put an end to their red zone struggles? He gets out to about the 15-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. This is the eighth play of the drive. He's in for the touchdown. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he hits the PAT. The 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Now after the penalty. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. successful they got five yards on the play and that's always a good game it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker he makes it to the 35 yard line this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt he fields it part at the 20, and he's taken down at the 29. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On the run, right side. He makes it to the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. yard line third down it's gonna be sacked the smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship a quarterback should take care of his offensive lineman but after that play and that hit you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that fourth and long here after the sack He puts it away, and it's a great kick. How about the coverage there? Just a great job there by the punt team to get downfield and make the play on the return man before he can get loose. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? He's got an opening. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Maybe three yards on that run. Good stop there by the freshman. You gotta be careful with this attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. They'll knock. 
knock him down for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. And he hauls that one in. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Panthers with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Brad, you and I have seen some crazy things happen over the years. Anything can still happen. They've got to get a touchdown on this drive, and if they can, hold on, look out. Maybe they got a shot to come back and get into the game. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. Second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 39. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. They'll give it off here. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four on the play. That makes it second and six. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. He's into the open field. Seven-yard scamper on the keeper. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. A 
to review the call, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. throw he caught it and they make the stop at the 22 it's fourth down they'll line it up for the field goal just under three to go in regulation he gets it up and he's got it and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. Well, this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh, my gosh, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. with room to work. The Golden Eagles taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Looks middle. Got his back. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Just under two to go in the game run there. Golden Eagles, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. I got number 18. I got you 18. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. has to stick with who they are and they know their identity this time they came up a little bit short but I think based on what they're seeing from this defense they've got to be able to make a decision on whether or not they want to run the football or throw that time the run did not work at all because they got beat up front at the line of scrimmage we're down to just a minute in this game Kick is up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Yeah. 
That was a laser across the middle. They get a good seven yards on that one. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Spikes the ball. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They come out in a five-wide set. And he hauls it in. Tackle around the 32-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. From the 32-yard line, second down. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The Golden Eagles, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.